Incident management is an ITSM process area whose goal is to restore a normal service operation as quickly as possible to minimize the impact on business operations. Sherwell's incident management processes were designed to comply with ITIL standards as well as provide best practices in providing the best user experience possible. Resting on Sherwell's service management platform, the incident processes combined with request management processes work together to provide issue resolution as well as request fulfillment for all users of an organization. Incidents and requests may be received in various ways, but the simplest and most effective method is to utilize Sharewell's robust self-service portal or service catalog. Users needing assistance in reporting issues or making requests for services are best served by logging these themselves. Intuitive forms and workflows take the hassle out of long service desk phone queues and sending lengthy emails to get assistance. Amy Lynch is an office assistant that is trying to print a document to her assigned network printer in the break room. Amy notices that her printouts are very spotty and unsuitable for distribution. She immediately accesses her Sharewell web client to submit a ticket to have someone service the printer. Notice that the portal recognizes Amy's login and tailors the access to her role in Sharewell. Amy accesses the service catalog and selects the printing service. She is printing to a network printer so that option is chosen. Amy chooses to submit an incident. By completing a few questions, Amy's incident is submitted and on its way to be resolved. Services from the catalog have their own tailored forms to capture the correct information to assure that the incident is categorized correctly and assigned to the pre-designated group that is responsible for resolution rather than have a first-level technician needed to triage the ticket first. This type of automation is created when the service is configured, all without the need to code. Once an incident is created, a user can track the progress of that incident from within the portal. Amy can click on the My Items link to see all her open items and their statuses. She can also comment the ticket or communicate directly with the support staff for any questions she might have from within her view of the ticket. After Amy's ticket is submitted and automatically assigned to the correct group, the responsibility passes over to the support group for investigation, remediation, and resolution of the incident. Henry Bryce, a first-level support representative, accesses his technician web client to view all his group's open tickets. Henry does this through his personal work dashboard, which shows all tickets assigned to him and his groups. He sees Amy's printer incident and assigns himself to it. No need for Henry to take any time to categorize, choose the configuration item, or set a priority for the incident, as all this information has been automatically entered for him from the configured service of printing. Each service can have all this and more set up upon creation without coding. While in the incident, Henry can begin to investigate the issue and even has some pre-configured tech tips to help him resolve the issue faster. These fields along with any other form alterations can also be done without the need to code. Henry has many options to choose from within the ticket. By simply clicking a button, he can escalate the ticket create a problem, create a change, track his time, and more. Sharewell's robust integration capabilities allow for direct, seamless connections to many of the most popular third-party applications on the market today. Here, Henry can post this incident to an existing JIRA issue, or choose to remote control into Amy's PC to see if she is connecting to the printer correctly. He visits the printer and he sees that the issue is the toner cartridge. It needs to be replaced. The second level support group is responsible for ordering toner for the network printers. So Henry accesses Sharewell from his tablet and creates a task from the ticket and assigns it to the group. In minutes, second level support resolves the task, noting that they have a toner cartridge in stock and will have it delivered to the printer immediately. 
Henry receives an update notification on the closed task and heads over to do the install. Once the toner cartridge is installed and tested, Henry can then resolve the incident, allowing Amy and her department to once again print to the break room printer. The life cycle of an incident can be as simple or complex as necessary, adding tasks, approvals, knowledge articles, and the like. The ultimate goal is to restore the service and or the customer to normal operations as soon as possible. If you like what you see, we invite you to learn more about ShareWell.